Dr. Han, may I come in? Yes, please come in. Hi, Dr. Han. Pull a chair and have a seat. How can I help you today? Dr. Han, I have a question on a weight loss drug that I kept hearing on social media. Let me guess. It's Ozempic or Rigovi, right? Yeah, how do you know? It's all over the internet, but I can tell you that unless someone is really indicated for the drug, forget about it. I would throw it into the trash can or like the British say, the rubbish bin. Wow, Dr. Han, I'm surprised that you have such a negative opinion on this drug. I read the clinical studies and they seem pretty legit, why wouldn't you recommend it? Look, I'm not arguing if the drug can promote weight loss compared to the placebo. Now, Zimpic and other GLP-1 analogs used for type 2 diabetes have been on the market for almost two decades now, and we have consistently seen weight loss in diabetes patients using this drug, which is a good thing for them. I think morbidly obese patients should consider using this drug to help decrease their appetite and along with regular physical activities to help kickstart their health journey. Okay, now I'm a little confused. You just said you would throw it into the trash. If someone has a true indication for using the drug, then I don't disagree with that. The problem is that some celebrities and prescribers are celebrating the off-label use of Ozempic for rapid weight loss and possibly without proper nutrition and exercise management. It is potentially doing more harm than good. Huh? What is that? Now first, Ozempic and drugs are like make people eat less. Now, its effect is not only limited to the GI system, but also in the brain. Now, so people eat lesser of everything, which means lesser carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Now, if you go back to look at the step one study, which is Rigovi semaglutide's primary clinical trial, even though the treatment group lost an average of 10.4% of their body fat mass, now they also lost 6.9% of their lean body mass. Now, even with some exercise prescribed in the study, the pharmaceutical companies not telling people that fact. Is that a really bad thing? Where do you find lean body mass? Muscles, I guess. That's right, lean muscle. We lose muscles as we age. We can lose as much as 3% to 5% per decade after age 30. Now, if older people are on Rigovi for a long time, they would even lose more muscle mass. That means the person has greater weakness and less mobility. And we are talking about losing strength here. Losing strength can potentially increase fall risk and death risk. So why can't someone just take the drug, get to their weight loss goal and stop using it? That would decrease their risk, right? <laughs> Good question. You would think so, right? It's not that easy. And a study has shown that when people stop using Ozempic, many regain some of the weight they have lost. The drug also increases insulin production, and many long-term users have their blood sugar levels surge when they stop using Ozempic and ended up in the emergency room. Now, this is a drug withdrawal effect. We are talking about a potential lifetime drug dependency here for some people. So we are trading the obesity epidemic for an Ozempic dependency epidemic. I don't know which one is worse, but I bet companies making these drugs would be happy. Now I've read that Novartis is set to make about 100 billion selling the drug over the next 10 years. Wow, that's a lot of money. But I wouldn't want to get injection for my whole life. But I want to lose my weight too. It's just so difficult. Uh, look, uh, I used to be like you. My weight kept climbing since I started my faculty job in 2016. The pandemic put even more weight on me in the middle of 2021. I realized I was obese and I knew I needed to do something about my weight. Well, I'm here today. I'm no longer obese and have gained a tons of muscle weight, I think. Now, it's a long story, but I can give you a shorter version. Do you want to hear that? Yeah, sure, I want to hear. 
Now everyone knows diet and exercise. You eat less, you exercise more, and burn more calorie than consumption. So I first started my weight loss exercise, you know, by exercising more in October 2021. Um, that was the time when I realized I was obese and so lack of energy. But I was not very programmatic. I went for swimming for about 60 to 90 minutes a week, but I was not very consistent. So a year went by and I barely just lost about what eight pounds or like four percent of my body weight so at the beginning of 2023 I started to swim a little more consistently and changed my diet to create a calorie deficit I was able to drop an additional like nine pounds or about five percent of my body weight in ten weeks which is good, but I've, I think I had a wall um, because I, all I was doing was cardio and I didn't feel I had gained any muscle. Um, so about two months ago, um, near the end of March, I started to working with my own personal trainer. I connected with Rachel thanks to the sponsor, Future. Now, Future is a fitness app that pairs you with your own highly credentialed personal trainer who will build you custom workouts and you can complete that on your own time wherever. Uh, being a professor can be really busy during the semester. You've seen me teaching classes, running exams, and running a lab, um, and serving on committees, which you don't see. Uh, so it's really hard to get to the gym during normal business hours for me and have a personal trainer to help me. But with Future, it's like having a personal trainer in my living room and when I go to the gym at odd hours. Now, upon signing up, I got a video call with my trainer, Rachel, and we discussed my goals and she designed a fitness plan that fits my need and schedule. Some day I was only able to do body weight workouts at home and some days I had time to go to the gym and my coach builds it into my plan. The future trainers have trained everyone from professional athletes to working professionals, no matter your level, and your trainer meets you where you are at, where your goal is to get back to the gym, lose weight, gain strength. There is an expert future trainer who knows exactly how to help you. I've been working with Rachel for about two months now. Everything she programmed for me is evidence-based that was recently published in the Journal of Strength and Conditional Research. Now, the workout consists of adequate lifting and lowering movements and full range of motion, and they introduce moderate stress and then space out with recovery session with each set. A good stretch is always followed after all the weight and core exercise. And my muscles are challenged just about right, so I don't start my lecture looking burned out. Now with Rachel's help, I was able to lose an additional 5% of my body weight in just two months, but this time it isn't just fat loss. I've also gained a lot of muscle, and I feel stronger than in my 20s, and this is why I keep using it even though I'm paying $149 a month out of pocket. Okay, that's what I want to know. How much? It's so expensive. So here's your chance. If you finally want to hit your fitness goal, then I have a special offer for you. If you use my link, you will get your first month with a future trainer for only $19 before the end of May. If you sign up in June, you will get 50% off the first month. But think of what you can accomplish during the first month. Well, go to tryfuture.co slash Dr. Han to get started. Well, I'm still not sure. Don't think of it as paying for a personal trainer, but think of it as an investment for your future. Well, if you're still contemplating, I'll send you a video of my training and diet vlog that should give you a better idea of how I've lost weight and gained strength. Now remember, diet also plays a huge part. Eating more protein-rich food is good, but you should also have a good mix of fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and a healthy polyunsaturated fat to make up the rest of it. Now we can save the nutritional science talk for another time. Sounds good. I didn't expect the conversation to go this way. Well, you never know what is in your future, right? So start training today and forget about Ozempic. Well, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.